Hey guys, we're Roll today. So in today's video, we're talking about Italy versus Wales within round four of the Six Nations. So that should be a very interesting game. Obviously, Italy do have home advantage, so you know that that hopefully will come into their favor. I mean, within the last few rounds, Italy have played. Obviously, they have lost all of them. I mean, within that last game against Ireland, they were just they just weren't in the game to be honest. Like more or less, they they did went up, you know, go up like what three points with that penalty within the first three minutes. But after that, it just went downhill really for the Italians. I mean, they just really weren't in that game. I mean, like, I, I could probably say, within that England game that they actually played, at some point, they were actually not out of the game. Like, they actually did well to actually get you know, some trials within that game. So, more or less, if Italy can go for that same approach within this game, I think they'll do pretty well. I mean, with, with Wales, I mean, they're the, you know, the most informed team, you could say, within the Six Nations. I mean, they haven't lost a game yet. You know, they've obviously been in England, Scotland, and Wales. Sorry, England, Scotland... And Ireland, the team's obviously behind me here. And yeah, no, it, it's one of those things where Wales have just, they, they've kind of shocked everyone because more or less I think a lot of people like myself predicted Wales to not finish as high as what they're doing now. And then, yeah, they're, I mean, this game's more or less a must win really for Wales. And I think they will win this one comfortably, but more or less it's, yeah, it should be a good game really. So anyway, here's the lineups for both sides. And yeah, no, it's more or less just where both sides have made some changes to their teams. And yeah, I'll, I'll just run run by them. And yeah, I'll just give you my prediction right after. So obviously for for Italy, you know, Italy have gone with, you know, they've made some changes from the front row with, they have uh, Felicidi as well as Zilochi as their props for the one and three position. And that's, it's kind of interesting because normally they would have a lot of more experience within that position, but they, they've gone for a, some newbies in there, which is good to see. But more or less, they will be, you know, they are partnering up with their hooker, which is Bigley, Luca Bigley. It's just, he, he has, I'd say, stood out for the Italians, I'd say, throughout this competition so far. And obviously, he is the captain of them, so hopefully he will have a good game within this game. And, you know, uh, for the locking positions, they do have the likes of Cancone, as well as Cisse. And Cisse is more or less, he's done very well. I'd say he's probably one of the few Italians within, within the team. He's actually done all right. He's had a, you know, some decent performances. But more or less, yeah, they should be, hopefully they can do well within that uh, line up off the wet and see. But yeah, no, with their loose forwards, they do, they've do. they gone with the same loose forwards as normal with uh, Negri at 6, uh, Meyer at 7, and Lombaro at 8. And to be fair to them, um, I'd say particularly within the last game, they weren't as, you know, strong as I thought they would be. But I think within this game, you know, hopefully they can have more of a performance because they just weren't really effective from the breakdown. Like, they weren't, you know, whenever they, were, whenever they had a ball... They, none of those loose forwards were in there, and you know, Ireland were always just picking up the, the penalties from that. So more or less, they just have to improve their performance within the breakdown, particularly. But yeah, no, with the with the back, essentially, you know, they have got the likes of Stephen Varney back in within the game, which is very crucial for them because I think he's probably going to be one of the standout players we say for this Italian side throughout this whole Six Nations so far. And he'll, obviously, he will be partnering up with Garbisi at the ten spot, which is a very I think it's a very good combination for the future, and that hopefully does will work out. So you know, with the centers, they obviously have the likes of Canna and Brex, which is kind of an interesting one, and I think that does kind of work. I mean, Brex has probably been the one who I've been impressed by the most, you know, particularly within that England game. I think both centers really just weren't in it within the last game, obviously against Ireland. I think most of the team weren't, but more or less, hopefully they can, you know, at least get some more offloads saying clean breaks. I'd like to see that from them, but we'll have to see from this Italian side. You just don't know what will happen. You know what? You don't know what t type of performance you can really expect from them. But anyway, from the wingers, you know, they have a comment with the likes of Monte Ionio, who has really stood out for them, I'd say, throughout this Six Nations, you know, competition. And he's really been, you know, he, he just shows that he's so quick. So just pass on the ball and he'll, he'll, he'll get you some run meters. That's, that's kind of a given, I think, from him. And obviously they have gone with Bellini at the 14 spots, which I think he's, he's done decent. I'm not going to say he's been a standout, but he's just been the average player, really, within the side. But then, yeah, with the 15 spot, obviously they, they do have Trulia, who I do believe is one of their... I'd say another standout player from the back line. Truly, it's just yeah, he's he's had his own pretty much. Now I think he's probably done the best he could throughout these all these games so far. So yeah, so far I think that Italian side just from the looks of it looks pretty good. I mean, if you do look at the Welsh side, I mean the Welsh side over here, obviously they haven't made too many changes, but more or less it's it, it's still it's still the same squad. But I'd say it's I'd say it's less. You could yeah, I mean it's against Italy, so more or less you're gonna make some changes, but. And they, yeah, I mean, they've made some changes. You could say within the front row, they haven't, with the likes of Wynn Jones, obviously, um, and France has been your, you know, your props as usual. So they haven't really made any changes within that front row, so, along with Ken Owens, who's still the hooker there. So that's interesting to see. So that's more or less, I think they should win that battle clearly within that scrum. But yeah, no, with their, they, you know, when you do look at the, actually the, 
the locks. You do have the likes of Hill as well as Alan Lynn Jones, who's obviously the captain, of course. So that's an interesting combination there that they do have. But, you yeah, know, with their loose forwards, I mean, more or less, they haven't made any changes there. I mean, they have, they're still the likes of Josh Levy at 6, then Charles Tipperick at 7, and then Falatau at 8. So more or less, same same loose forward pack that you normally have. And, yeah, they should probably do pretty well with their breakdown, to be honest. That's probably the area you'd expect them to do well. I can definitely expect at least Falatau to get some run beaters from this game, for sure. Even maybe Justin Tipperick, you know, probably have, will probably have some good tackling success within this game as well. Mark my words. And yeah, no, when you do look at the backs, I mean, they have made some changes. I mean, with the number nine spot, you have Gareth Davis, who's actually come back into the side now, so that's kind of a good thing to have. You know, he is, you know, he brings a lot of experience, really, to this um, to the side, which is what you need. And yeah, no, with the 10 spot, obviously, they have gone with Bigger, who's just done, I think he's done well within this whole Six Nations. I mean, obviously, when you do look back at the last game they played, Bigger was, you could say, a huge talking point within that game, you know, towards that quick penalty he took and obviously kicked towards Josh Adams. So, yeah, you need that type of player. He can actually come up with those quick players. But, yeah, you know, with the centers, obviously, they have, they have they haven't really made too many changes, to be honest. Like, when you look at their centers, I mean, they've gone with Jonathan Davis, who's just so reliable. And it, he's just someone that you can count on all the time to have at least a 7 out of 10 above performance every single game you put him in. Then yeah, his partner in crime will obviously be George North, who's actually, you know, I think it's normal now to see, but he's now been shifted into a center's position. And that combination works really well. And then when you do look at the wingers, you do have the likes of Josh Adam, who is fitting in the 11 spot, and then Lewis Lee Zamet, who has just been probably well standout player, you could say, throughout this whole Six Nations. Yeah, he's just really stood out um, to the rest. And, you know, hopefully he can, he can continue his form and get a few tries on the board. I can, I can, I can honestly expect him to get some tries. I <laughs> wouldn't be surprised. But, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But, yeah, with the 15 spot, obviously, they have gone when Liam Williams finished it off. So, no, Liam Williams will more or less just bring that aerial ability, which, you know, he really, that's probably his best quality about him. And, yeah, no, he's just able to find gaps in the defense. And, yeah, don't be surprised if he does get a, at least a try or at least maybe two tries within this game because he is that kind of playmaker uh, in that sense. But, yeah, anyway, that's kind of it with both sides. I mean, if I have to say who would win this game, I think it's pretty obvious I'm going to select Wales for this. I mean, they're just the team who's on the best form at the moment as well. And then you have Italy, who's obviously in the worst form. So, yeah, I think Wales will definitely win this game. Um, I'm not sure how much they'll win it by, but I'll probably say by at least... I'll say... I'll say by at least... I know this is bad, but I'll say by at least 20 points. So I'm going to say they'll win this game by... Actually, no, I'm going to say 25 points. So I'll say they'll win this game by 35 points to 10. Yeah, so Wales win this game by 30 point five, 35 points to 10, yeah. So anyway, just uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, definitely want to see you guys comment below and just tell me who you guys will win this game. So anyway, just uh, hope you guys have a good day, and yeah, see you guys next time.